Stranger Things Season 4 introduces the show's strongest villain yet, Vecna. And that's saying something, seeing as the gang has fought everything from Demogorgons to the Mind Flayer and even the Russians. Now what that means is that the big bad of Stranger Things 4 is more than just a Freddy Krueger and D&D inspired monster. But Vecna wasn't always this terrifying and evil monstrosity. You see, Vecna was actually once human and had special powers just like Eleven. In fact, he is one, the first of Dr. Martin Brenner's test subjects. He had his humble origins as the human Henry Creel. After moving to a new home in Hawkins in March 1959, the young Henry discovered he had remarkable psychokinetic abilities and could alter the perception of others. Just around the same time, he discovered how little he cared for the lives of others. He hated the idea of leading a normal life and staying true to the routine and mundanity of normal life, such as having children, going to work, and, you know, dying. And that was the spark that ignited Henry's transition to the evil monster he was becoming. After all, he needed more than that, and so he started to test his abilities further in order to become a predator for good, like with his beloved Black Widow spiders. He got stronger and stronger as he tormented animals of various kinds. However, the worst came when his parents started to suspect something was wrong with their son. So they planned to take him to a doctor, except Henry refused to be put in a psychiatric hospital and instead killed his mother and sister and attempted to do the same to his father but fainted from overexertion. But sadly enough, it was his father, Victor, who was arrested for the murders and found guilty, and shortly afterwards, Henry was taken away by Dr. Brenner who attempted to control him and experiment on him. He took Henry to Hawkins National Laboratory to be studied, and here Henry was designated 001, becoming the laboratory's first test subject. Brenner implanted Soteria into Henry's neck, a miniature device that suppressed his powers and track his every movement, and started a program to make other children like him, such as Eleven. However, disaster struck Hawkins in 1979 when Henry tricked test subject Eleven into removing the Soteria chip with her powers. What followed was a bloody trail of dead bodies. You see, the massacre that's shown at the very beginning of the season wasn't carried out by Eleven like we all imagined, but it was actually one who killed all the children and workers in the facility. After this, one asks Eleven to join him after explaining his point of view and his goal to restore balance to the world by wiping out humanity. But rather than join him in his bid to destroy humanity, Eleven goes up against him, and using her powers she thrusts him into the Upside Down, making the first portal into the alternate dimension. Then as he was falling through the Upside Down, one became the creature Vecna after lightning struck him in such a way that it changed his skin and made him into the monster he is now. Also sometime between being banished ahead of the events of Stranger Things around 1983, and re-emerging in Hawkins in January 1986, he also grows appendages just like the Black Widow spiders he was so fond of as a human. In the years since, one transformed into Vecna, he appears to have been building up his powers even further, trapping his victims in his mind and possibly draining them for energy, perhaps as a way to gather enough power to break out of the Upside Down. Whatever Vecna's final goal is, it's possible Season 4 Part 2 won't end with him defeated before he can achieve it. For now, we'll just have to wait and see what really happens. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. We hope that you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Now, if you want to keep watching more videos like these, do consider hitting that subscribe button and smash that like button as well. This is Factolic, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.